my beautiful people welcome to today's video if it is your first time here my name is Kanye Msomi thank you so much for joining us I hope you do join my beautiful family and you can simply do so by pressing the subscribe button down below I truly appreciate it and to all my subbies who are back for today's video you know how much I love you guys and thank you so much for tuning in please do give this video a quick thumbs up subscribe if you're not yet a subscriber and leave me some comments down below i love interacting with you guys in today's video you guys i am finally doing the luxury um unboxing and try on haul that i spoke about in my previous vlog and i also went on my instagram i think you over a month ago and i asked my followers to vote whether i should unbox these items or do a vlog out of these items or I should just leave it the hell alone. Now, fortunately, about 96% of you guys voted I should do an unboxing. So here I am today. Now, I completely understand that luxury hauls are not for everyone. And that's okay. If this isn't your type of video, I'm going to ask that you please exit and go watch all my other videos. I have a lot of other videos that you might find interesting so just check those out and if this is something that you'd like to see please stay and without wasting any more of your time let's get right into the video okay guys so these are items that i've actually collected over um a couple of weeks so i got them sort of like a week apart or a couple of weeks apart but i got them quite a while ago i think it's yeah over a month now and they've been sitting i've been procrastinating this video but here i am today and that's all that matters now usually with luxury um unboxings i know that people usually leave the best for last but i think i'm gonna start with the star of the show today <laughs> and that is of course from louis vuitton this is my ultimate favorite luxury brand guys up until we have a chanel and a christian dior store in south africa this baby right here is my current favorite and what i got guys well actually my hubby got this for me as a gift so i've already sort of unboxed it um it had a ribbon around it i've already obviously opened it because i wanted to see what it was i didn't know what it was let me tell you guys this bag i have been looking for this bag for many 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 years this bag is like mm, what can i say this bag is like a very rare commodity at louis vuitton it is very hard to find it and um fortunately they brought literally one bag in south africa a couple of months ago and luckily enough our sales assistant was nice enough to give hubby a call and let him know that the bag that i've been searching for has arrived and yeah um he got that for me so without wasting any more of your time this is what the box looks like um you know it's the orange box which is hard and it has this little um draw string over here where you can pull the box open i absolutely love louis vuitton packaging guys i keep most of the boxes that i have and i use them as deco around um this beauty room slash office slash recording room whatever and yeah so it comes in this dust bag that has louis vuitton over there and this is great obviously for storing your bags keeping them away from dust keeping them away from getting dirty um as you've stored them but all of my handbags are actually on display so i don't have them in the dust bags but when i travel and i take an extra handbag that i put in my luggage i use the dust bags so without wasting any more of your time Du -du -du -dum. Ah! <laughs> guys this is the louis vuitton palm springs mini backpack and like i said i've been looking for this darling for the longest time so i'm so happy i'm so excited that i got her now this bag is more of like 
actually I'd say it's very versatile um, it's more of like a casual look it can be an evening look it can be um, a traveling backpack like there's so many things you can do with it and I like the fact that it's not just limited to a backpack um, I will show you guys the different types of ways that I wear it but it has um, strings that you can sort of adjust to style it in a lot of different ways so it's not just a simple backpack you can switch it up a bit and just to give you a close-up this is what she looks like you guys absolutely gorgeous it has gold hardware as you can see there's a little um, compartment down here which is a bit useless because it's small um, it has this loop thing over here i'm not too sure what that is for i will need to search what that is for and you can see the detailing here there's some stitching and also it has cushioning at the bottom and at the back as well so this makes it a very like comfortable fit to carry and as you can see there's still some gold details over there and it has this um soft black leather all around and the straps are black as well i will show you just now and just all these little black leather details which looks so 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 stunning so to start off with louis vuitton has actually done um, a recent update on this bag so previously what they've changed is the zip part of it that you see over here previously the zip was hidden by this little flap over here and a lot of people were actually um, complaining that it makes it hard for you to open it but now that they've actually um, upgraded it and the zip is not hidden it makes it a lot easier to to open and it also won't damage the canvas because it's not covered by it and i honestly just love the gold detailing that the zip being exposed gives i think it looks very like nice and chic i absolutely love gold details on my handbag so i truly appreciate the way um they've updated this bag and thank god i didn't get it when i wanted to get it because then i probably would have gotten the old version of it um and then yeah let's open on the inside on the inside we have we have the straps right here they are still in the plastic packaging and what is inside is like a little care book over there and then this is just the the barcode or whatever of the bag not really that important and then this is what the straps look like you guys so we have two different black straps and as you can see if Canon can stop focusing on my face um, there's some gold detailing on them and this is how you basically just adjust the straps I saw somewhere that this is actually very hard to adjust so I'm just gonna give it a shot We let that loose, we let that loose. Ugh. Oh my goodness. Okay, so these straps are a bit tricky to adjust, like to take this knob out of it was very difficult but it's fine we have it out now so what i want to do is adjust it according to my um size i'm very short like i always say i am um 1.56 centimeters <laughs> tall and yeah so i'm pretty short and there we go so this is one strap now i need to fight with the next one to take it out and adjust it okay so both straps are adjusted and ready to be used and what we are going to do is 
So the first way I would um, wear this is the traditional way, which is the backpack way. And you just simply clip it on the first one. Clip it on the next one. And it doesn't really matter which direction you place this because as you can see, this gold um, hook over here turns all the way so it turns 360 so it doesn't really make um, much of a difference in what in which direction you put it and then I'm gonna do the same with the second one and ta -da! there you have it and this is what it looks like as a backpack obviously on my back and I'm not really a backpack type of girl, so I doubt I'd ever wear it in this way But it's one of the styles that you can wear it and you can also wear it in the front in this way If that's your thing, I think I'd be more comfortable wearing it like this because then um, My everything inside the bag is easy to reach and then the second way I would wear this is what I'm going to do is simply just remove this one strap. Oh, Canon, I need you to focus on this bag and not on my pretty face, please. And then hook it on here. And then I do the same thing at the bottom. And I hook it on one side now putting it like this would give it um a sling bag type of look and this is what it looks like um i think it looks very cool depending on what i'm wearing depending on how i'm feeling i would definitely wear it in this way um yeah it makes it super comfortable um it just sits on the side of my thigh and it is easy to reach and obviously if i wanted it to go a bit lower then I would just adjust the straps accordingly and then the last way in which I would wear this is I'm gonna unhook the ones at the bottom unhook the ones at the bottom okay and then I'm going to hook both of them right at the top over here. And also a sling bag, but this is more of a, so the bag will sit straight instead of slanted. And I think this is the look that I would mostly wear it as. Um, and I like the detailing of using like two strings. I think it's very very cool it gives it a lot of detail and i love the way it sits and again if i wanted it to be a little longer i would just adjust the straps another way in which i would carry it is probably just by carrying it on the is it handle <laughs> carrying it up here and yeah call it a day oh i love this bag guys and then what we're now going to do is actually test what fits inside this bag. It's a mini, it's very small. This Palm Springs um, backpack does come in three different sizes. This is the smallest one called the mini. And then the one before this one is called the PM. And then there's a GM as well, which is big. Now the GM and the PM are more of like actual backpacks, if you know what I mean. They're a lot bigger. And I like that this is small, it's tiny. I'm a very small person, so I like small bags on me i think bags that are big drown me and it looks absolutely weird because i'm tiny so this is just the perfect 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 fit for me so if you're also someone that's like short or petite or um you know small and you just want this backpack but you can also use it as um, a handbag then 
the mini is definitely the size that you should go for now i'd go for the the pm which is the next size after this if i was using it as um a tra maybe an extra travel bag that's a little bigger because there's more space in it obviously that would work perfectly but this as a handbag as a little travel handbag that i can go with as well works perfectly there's also another color i'm um, different from this one it's basically just the reverse monogram and it comes in this like orange or light brown look and then this is obviously just the classic um, monogram i like this classic monogram because it could literally go with anything that you are wearing it's got gold and black details which can blend with literally any single thing that you are wearing you can carry this bag with whereas with the reverse monogram i feel like it would be a bit restricting in terms of what you can wear it with so yeah i like that so let's test out what we can actually fit in this little bag i actually haven't even shown you the inside so the inside is just black like that and there's a little oh cannon <laughs> there's a little compartment at the back there i'm not sure if you guys can see that but yeah there are no extra zips on the inside it's just a little compartment where you can slot i don't know keys or your cards or cash coins whatever little stuff lip glosses and whatnot and then we have um, on the inside was what is it? It's layered with like um, it's like cotton material on the inside, and then this little this little pouch over here seems like <laughs> yeah. This is so damn small. The only thing I can fit in here, I can imagine, are probably my car keys, or I can fit um, a small little lip gloss or lipstick. But yeah and because this compartment is also covered with the canvas I think it would be a bit of a, a tedious job to open yeah you see what I'm saying it would get a bit stuck so I probably won't even use much of that now let's check what fits on the inside I have here my cell phone we're gonna slot it in there I have here my wallet this is a, um, my big wallet i have a smaller one to this let's see if it fits okay you can squeeze it in there a tad bit <laughs> i have a pack of tissues um i have my power bank put it in there and my cord which i would probably um slot inside the the little compartment that i told you about at the back here let me do that just so it's a little more organized because having cables in your bag can be a bit irritating they get tangled and stuff and then i have my little airpods i wonder if my airpods can actually fit in this little compartment here let's check I don't think it's always that I'll be reaching out for these so even if they in here it's fine it's not like I'll be opening and closing it often and they fit perfectly so my airpods go in there I have my sanitizer which is very 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 important during these tough times <laughs> And then I have some um, hygiene wipes. Those can also slot in there. And then I have my Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream. And I never go anywhere with, without this girl. She's with me all the time. And then I have my Sorbet um, hand cream which is almost finished. So let's find a spot for that in there. It's getting quite heavy. Now you don't want to pack this up too much because yeah i feel like just making your bag too heavy kind of ruins it so yeah and those are the those are the only things that i have to put in here and there's still quite a lot of space um yeah this is it's perfect
neatly packed inside and then let's close it another thing that um, I thought I'd do is I have this little coin pouch right over here and then I have these um, they're actually key holders like a keychain um, yeah so what I'm gonna do I think to make the bag look a little snazzy is I'm gonna add it to should I add it to the zip or to this thing let me see if I can add it without without damaging the bag oh, perfect. so what I've done is I've added it to the handle over there and what I can put in this here is either coins or my car keys then I don't have to you know scramble to find them on the inside they could be right here and this also just makes it look super cool and yeah I love that you guys so cool absolutely love it and yeah that is my palm springs mini backpack i am so happy i got this bag like i said i've been looking for it for the longest 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 time i even searched for it in dubai when i went um last year around november and they didn't have it and they did say that it's a very rare find so i'm absolutely happy that i have this bag hopefully you like it too i hope you guys think it's cute and yeah if you are interested in getting this bag it retails for let me just check the receipt um, it retails for 35,000 and yeah um, I know a lot of you asked from my previous luxury um, haul that I should mention the prices just in case you are interested in um, getting it so that's what I'm going to be doing in this video this was 35,000 in South African rands and yeah absolutely love her <laughs> okay now that we are done with the star of the show Miguel the girl she thinks she is <laughs> let's move on to a pair of shoes that I got um, I am not the biggest fan of getting designer shoes because they do tend to get um, be very uncomfortable but I walked into Jimmy shoe and I tried these pair of heels on and they were absolutely comfortable I could literally wear these every day even around the house and I'm not really a heel type of girl so if I can you know find something that is comfortable I'm absolutely happy about that um, the packaging Jimmy shoe and the box just looks like that I don't know if you guys can see the it's written Jimmy shoe London um, what I find here is it comes with a dust bag like that and then some care guides very important and then ba -ba -ba -ba. Do -do -do -do. Oh. I am busy anyway before we're really interrupted Jimmy Choo, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I, had to, I just had to do that. But yeah, how cute are they, guys? So, these are the heels. They are a bit of like, yeah, no, it's not really a kitten heel, but the heel really isn't that high, if you can see there. Ugh, cannon. If you can see there and it's a nude color and it has this um, strap at the back here which just makes it very um, classy and elegant and I got a size 37 which is a size 4 in South Africa and yeah I really love these shoes guys the 
material is oh, the quality is fabulous these are my very first jimmy choo um, shoes i've never bought any before but this shoe is extremely comfortable so i'm actually excited to collecting a lot more of their heels and they're just classy very ladylike and neutral i love neutral colors and yeah the price of this madam these shoes um, were actually on sale so let me see yo my mat is failing me right now but I bought them for 4895 rands and it says here total discount amount is 7305 rands so um if we add those two they were around about 12000 um a little above 12000 and i got them for 4895 baby what that is a save that is oh i love that i saved seven thousand rand on these shoes i love luxury sales you know luxury brands that have sales are just the best hint hint lv gucci <laughs> let's move on to the next items with the next items, I went into a store called Hydraulics. You will find it at Santon City. There's actually two different stores um, in Santon City. And yeah, just check that out. I just need to undo this. <laughs> I was so happy with this place, you guys. Ah! gorgeous so i got this dress from um alexander wang and she's so stunning you guys so edgy so stylish so this is definitely my style um yeah i think i dress a bit you know like edgy and stuff so absolutely love it this is what the dress looks like over here i will show you clips of it on in a second and you can see up here it has oh i need to be so gentle it has this um sort of like it has this mesh material and how you can wear this is obviously by dropping down um the shoulders like making it be off the shoulder and then with the mesh showing as you can see here so beautiful guys i love 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 this dress i can't wait to rock it and um i can actually it comes with a belt it came with a belt as you can see here but um, I would actually use one of my other designer bows to um, cinch in my waist. Yeah, I just love this. This is so up my alley. And then lastly guys, what I got are some... I need to actually Google how you pronounce this brand because I struggle sometimes, you know. I don't want to make a clown of myself. Um, is it Moschino? Is it Mochino? Is it... Who are you? <laughs> let's see google will tell you okay let's hear moschino moschino okay okay moschino. okay okay i get it moschino 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 <laughs> so i got some moschino shoes guys <coughs> how pretty <laughs> How pretty are these? Oh my gosh, you guys. <gasps> also very edgy. Also very um, up my alley. Look at that. They are so stunning, you guys. And they have this white detailing on the inside. And then it says they're Moschino. 
and it has this strap that also says Moschino on the side. The heel is slightly longer than the Jimmy Choo heels, but they are very, very, very similar. Um, the detailing at the back and the whole pointed toe in the front. Absolutely love them, you guys. Ah! <laughs> I can't wait to rock these either. And it has a completely white sole at the bottom and absolutely love them and what also comes in the bag is of course a dust bag for you to use when you are traveling and yeah so this Alexander Wang dress was <laughs> are you guys ready guys I told you I love sale items oh my gosh the original price of this dress was 18,590 they then reduced it to are you guys ready are you ready <laughs> they reduced it to 5,570 freaking seven oh that makes me so happy I saved so much money <laughs> I do not have the price of these shoes all I have is the final receipts that doesn't state how much they were but let's do some subtractions okay yeah as i thought these shoes were 8390 and yeah these are my luxury goodies that i got i can't wait to rock them especially miguel over here like ooh, 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 ooh. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please do give me a big thumbs up just so I know and I am comfortable enough to do more of these type of luxury videos because there's been a lot of times where I want to do them but I'm still a bit like I'm not sure so if you guys enjoy them please do give me a big thumbs up leave me some comments down below let me know which was your favorite item if you have any care questions for the bag um ask me down below if you have any comments feedback whatever leave it down below i will see you guys there and if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel please do my darling like you will lose absolutely nothing and i truly 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 appreciate it and i forgot to mention guys that my youtube channel is finally monetized So exciting so all that means is guys if you can please just watch my ads and if you can please click on my ads as well if you want to give me some extra love because you know a girl's gotta eat guys like help me help me eat as well you know help me reap some benefits of this channel and yeah but anyway i will see you guys in my next video i hope you enjoyed it love you guys so much have a beautiful and blessed sunday bye